Hey everybody, my name is Rhino, and today we are starting a series of Plants vs. Zombies, the Game of the Year edition. Let's hop into it and start the adventure right now. Okay, so, if you have no knowledge of what this game is, it is keeping the nasty zombies away from the house using plants that will shoot peas. I'm clicking on sun, which is our currency. When I have a hundred sun, I can put another pea shooter down. That's what this plant is. Cost a hundred. When the zombies start walking on the grass, they will start being shot by the pea shooter. And after a few shots, the zombie's head will pop off and they will fall down dead. This is level 1-1. One, one. We're playing this on the PC. Um, more plants obviously will shoot more bullets and it will be faster. Uh, we are of course are in just a tutorial mode right now. There's only one lane here, one path. And we've unlocked a new plant for our benefit. It is the sunflower. Cost 50 sun. We get a new plant, the sunflower. Gives you additional sun. Next level. So we're very much in the tutorialization stage. Sunflowers are extremely important to plant them. Sunflowers give us sun faster, so we can start a cycle of having a lot of currency to plant the pea shooters right now and other plants in the future. There is a cooldown on how fast we can plant each plant. So even though I have 50 now, I cannot make another sunflower until it's done recharging. We hear the sound that means the zombies are about to attack. We will barely fast enough. But this should work quite well and we should be well stocked in, in sun to start making some more pea shooters. As now we have three lanes and the pea shooters will only fire in the lane that they are planted in. Over here on the left you'll notice there are three lawn mowers. Why people, a person would have more than one lawn mower makes little sense, but he does. For every lawn mower that's one free mistake. Um, if a zombie manages to get all the way to the lawn mower, it will go off and kill everything in that lane, giving you an opportunity to recover. However, the second time the lawn mower will be gone and you will lose the game, the level. So I'm playing this on the PC and recording this at 1080p, which is definitely should at least be the minimum standard for uh, all video these days. And the Game of the Year edition doesn't really stretch. Uh, of course this is a cell phone game. Uh, this is a PC port of a cell phone game. Um, so we can't. But I really wish they could have fixed that. That, if you notice that zombie guy down here, I meant to mention him. I custom made that zombie guy uh, from the main 
screen. We will get back to it after we are done with the first few levels, and I'll show it to you. Uh, you can make your own custom zombies uh, to appear in the game, which is kind of cool. Uh, we got the cherry bomb this time. It costs 150 sun, and it blows up all zombies in an area. Ready, set, plant. So we're gonna follow the same strategy. Usually I do two rows of sunflowers and then uh, start adding rows of other things. Hmm. The zombies are already coming. So I'll put a plant here. They're moving faster this time. I had time to plant, I believe, four sunflowers before they started attacking the last level. Now, we barely have gotten three. Sun naturally falls, too, when it is daytime in the game. Barely got this guy before he reached the plant. When they start reaching the plant, th the zombies will start eating the plant uh, and destroying them. We will probably see that in this episode. We're gonna go all the way through this game, do every little bit of it, and show you how to play and show you what this is all about. Uh, I'm doing this series after they've made a sequel, and then they've basically remade the sequel, too. Uh, this guy has a orange traffic cone on his head, which means he is a little bit armored, and it will take a little bit more to kill him. You have to knock the thing off his head, and then uh, kill him. If we want to, we can use the cherry bomb. I think we will. So, cherry bomb, just place it on top and it will explode before they can eat it. That was pretty poor placement. I should have placed it somewhere in the middle between two or three zombies. huge wave of zombies is coming. You can tell when a huge wave is coming by the flag uh, on the cursor that fills up. So yes, I custom made this guy. Uh, the options you have to make uh, a custom zombie are cool, but there's not a ton of them. I may have 220 uh, flowers. If I wanted to, say, slow them down, I could simply put a cheap flower like this in front, or even better, use the rock here, the, let's see, what is it called? It's called a walnut, because it acts as a wall, and I guess it's not a rock, it's a walnut, blocks off zombies and protects your other plants, and it costs 50 the same as the sunflower. So definitely better to use these than putting a sunflower in front of it unless you just don't have any opportunity to use it. Now we are to the real game. You five lanes of this. Level one four. So we have to protect all five lanes of zombies. They're coming. I've only planted two of these. I don't have enough to even plant a pea shooter. Uh, you only have a certain number of slots of plants, and you will eventually unlock enough plants that it, uh, you have to select which 
of your collection you're going to take into battle with you. Uh, there, besides the sequel, which uh, in my opinion isn't really worth playing, even after they fixed it and uh, completely redid it, it still wasn't a... it felt very much like just a cash-in. Uh, not very fun. Uh, they have started now Oops, that's no good. Uh, with a Plants vs. Uh, Zombies Garden Warfare 3D uh, shooter game for kids. Uh, which, I guess, it's a decent concept if instead of uh, trying to make a new, new game, you just instead take a known quantity, some known characters that are kind of uh, liked. They, they haven't totally squeezed all the love out of the Plants vs. Zombies series. And the game looked fine as a 3D first person shooter team based type game. So you can see they've started to eat the walnut here but not made as much a ton of progress on it. You'll eventually get to know how much damage is the amount of damage right before the walnut totally disappears. Because I'd say right now it's, it's about halfway used up. It's much more ideal to build up your system here. So it's starting to get slightly overwhelmed even with the amount of sunflowers. That is why I usually don't go beyond two or three rows of sunflowers because then they will have so much stuff coming about that you'll spend, you won't have enough time to, to pick up all the sun, which you have to click on. Huh. See, and when you make a custom, your custom zombie guy as the leader of the huge wave, it happens every time, which... I kind of wish it was randomized, and just every now and then happened. It's kind of dull. And we get the shovel! The shovel lets you dig up a plant to make room for another. And for 1-5, we meet this guy. Greetings, neighbor. The name's Crazy Dave. But you can just call me Crazy Dave. Listen, I've got a surprise for you. But first you need to clear your lawn. Use the shovel and dig up those plants. Let the digging commence. So we click here to get rid of the plants. Oh goody, now for the surprise. We're going bowling. Here, take this walnut. Why did I put a walnut in your hand? Because I'm crazy. Now go, bowl me a winner. So there are several mini games in Plants vs. Zombies to keep it interesting. We have these uh, walnuts that are going to scroll here and then bunch up. We have explosive walnuts that are going to scroll. I don't think they're in this m first mini game or anything else. So when I push it behind this line, it goes up and then when it hits a zombie, it will either go upwards or downwards. The trick to doing this is actually to wait until they are close to the line because then there will be more in the back. If we put an explosive one, it on first contact will just explode, hitting both of those. 
and we can just sit here and collect as much as we want until it fills up and then I believe once it's completely full we won't get any more. So you might try to keep the explosive ones for later. You can bowl combos if there's enough of zombies around. Probably not as not gonna be super easy to do in this uh one because there aren't gonna be a lot of zombies. So that that was it like a triple. I think it goes all the way up there. Let's see, play that one. Get double. Try to keep them from not crossing the line. Not that crossing the line is going to be a loose scenario. You just can't put a walnut uh, back here. You can put a walnut here if you want to get it faster. So this is pretty pretty good that they put this at 1.5. You do four levels just learning the game, and then you come and. Uh, change it up a little bit, have some falling action. It's sort of difficult to lose at this. You're definitely being given enough on that scare. future mini games there will be more than just walnuts scrolling up let's see huge wave of zombies is coming they say notice i have 5 got tons of these so we can just put one here put a couple in a row and get rid of that guy six extra explosive walnuts and we get a new plant which is the was a potato I believe potato mine explodes on contact but takes time to arm itself so it's a real cheap plant it's good for a second last line of defense in front of a lawnmower but generally I don't use them because they take very long time for them to arm let's go back to the main menu from this point next level will be 1.6 so we can make your own zombinator and here is the zombie I made uh, which in portrait and avatar you can change your skin color over here on the portrait to all different shades of green it's kind of funny you can only do green you have several hairstyles here and the fact that they spent the time to make this is cool, but now that it's in the game, the fact that it's not just making random zombies uh, to have these different effects is a little strange. I would much prefer, instead of making my own custom zombie, a lot of these options, by the way, are ridiculous um, and don't look very good. Uh, Here's the Mike Tyson uh, tattoo. Uh, I would much rather see these things just randomly be placed together like the zombies have no fashion sense whatsoever. And 
then the leader with the flag would be doing that. Here you have your double eye patch. You can put some clothes on them of different styles. So there we'll put a dress on them. Collars and aprons and earrings and a lot of these things over don't really overlap like maybe I want gold teeth and a gold necklace but you can't have both you can only pick one which really doesn't make any sense a crazy sombrero and then you have a whopping five backgrounds if you include the one that is just a solid color There's our new guy. We're finished. It puts a it puts a picture on your desktop so you can use it for your own use. That's pretty cool. Uh, my main problem with this game so far is just why is it not able to stretch at 1080p? Uh, just make some graphics. Really. This is really silly. Options, all you have is music, sound effects, 3D acceleration, which uh, if your computer cannot handle 3D acceleration of this game, your computer is probably 10 plus years old. And full screen or windowed mode, when it's in windowed mode, it's even worse because then you have this tiny window that, uh, that you cannot expand and make bigger. Uh, I suppose if you had a really, really old computer, this would be helpful, but man, you don't need to play to that audience. They won't buy games. We need to play more in adventure mode to unlock the mini games and the puzzle mode and the survival mode and several other things. And we are working our way downward towards getting achievements done. But we're gonna work all our way to the bottom fill it with achievements. And here we can see the Chinese zombies because the hole goes all the way down to China. That's what they're saying. Which isn't accurate ever, but it's an old wives tale. Anyways, that's Plants vs. Zombies Game of the Year Edition levels 1 through levels 1 1 through 1 5. Uh, Thank you for watching this video. I end all my episodes the same way. As always, I ask that you... Well, not as always. I haven't ever asked this before if this is the first series you've watched of mine. I ask you to like my videos. I ask you to subscribe to my channel. That's the, the easiest way that you can help me out and make sure you see new episodes. I ask you to share it with your friends. I ask you to comment if you want to and I ask you to watch every second of my videos. What you can also do is click on my name Rido and that gets you to my main YouTube page. There's a tab up there called Playlist for every game I've played or are playing right now. Uh, there's a playlist. Uh, click on those, check out some other games or from my main YouTube page which again click on my name Rido to get there. Uh, there is a blue button on the right that says support this channel. It would be very helpful if you click that and make a donation to me. No amount is too small. It would be very, very helpful. This is the only thing I do. This is my only job. Uh, also, if you want to friend or follow me on things like Tumblr, Twitter, Google+, Steam, uh, Facebook, uh, or friend me on Battle.net, there are links down below in the description to all of those. Please follow me on whatever you are in, whatever f services you're all about. That'll help you also see my ep when episodes are out faster. Thank you for watching this, and come back for the next episode. Have a good evening.